Hello everybody, welcome to the play-ins round two. We've got Plotinus with his Dwarves versus Crucifer with his Imperial Nobility. And it looks like Crucifer started on defense and um, yep, has somehow got the ball against these Dwarves who have set up in some kind of square formation, like a cage without the ball in it, which is uh, not to be recommended. Uh, we've started a little bit late. There's no, you can't rewind live games, unfortunately, in um, in Blood Bowl three. So you know they started early. They were they scheduled for quarter past, but they started a little bit early. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello. Hello, everybody. Oh my goodness! It looks like he might even be scoring here. <laughs> it looks like it's over on turn one. <laughs> or uh, turn two, sorry. Yeah, this is um, this is not where you want to be on turn three if you're a dwarf coach. No, I mean if you're any coach, but yeah. <laughs> I don't it's know how he's got so narrow and and like completely exposed. It's really he's got he's got a two D like so if he stands the guy yeah and then two D's that guy he needs a power of both down and then he frees the attack doesn't get it is that a stand firm. Yeah. Oh, it's a fender. It's a fender. Yeah, it's yeah. a fender. It's the Lino, yeah. So now he's got a 1D blitz on tackle and no way of recovering it. You could dodge off the guard, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, double GFI. Yeah, that's what he goes for. Multiple reroll usage, allowing this kind of play that you would have never gone for before, right? So that's pretty nice. I mean, even if he powers him, like. Oh, yeah, it's still terrible, yeah. yeah. He's still in so much trouble. Yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. What a start. What a start for Dwarves. Maybe it was something like a... Uh, oh, and he's GFI to push him in an extra hit. Lovely. Lovely. See, it's good that you can get these recovery turns. Like, it sucks that, you know, like, Skaven have got, like, the ridiculous turns where they, like, do things. But it's good that you've got, like, the extra reels for the recovery turns like this. Is well, this is, this is a 1D, right? And yeah, yeah. Oh, he gets the power, now he can chain the run around yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, pretty nice. Amazing. He gets a good scatter here, which he doesn't yet. Oh, he gets the perfect scatter! <laughs> he gets to stand up and put it in a cage! Oh my god. Oh wow, yeah, Chris used all of his rerolls to get to this, this, this place. Oh my god. I mean, it's not great to be stood in this cage, but like you know, it's a it's a very much a based on all sides cage. <laughs> but hey, it's better than not being in one, isn't it? He goes to the exact square, glorious. He's got still got three rerolls, so he could try one days to clear, or at least at least one one day, right? Is this what he got? So you could do this one day here. I mean, it's not very good, is it? So yeah. Wow. Yeah, he hasn't recovered, but it's it's a start, isn't it? It's better than just not having lost. Like he could have. Well, this is lost. the thing. Like Cruz has got no reroll, so like this could instantly be absolutely fine for the dwarves. If he fails, the first thing he does is. Uh, he's still got a ways to go. To be fair, to recover, like. Oh yeah, teams. yeah. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah. His team's all separated. And like. Yeah, how many guards does he have? He's only got. Let me get rid of all these. Is, he, is that a guarder over there? No. So he's got one, two, three, four guard, mighty blow block. This is the dwarf drive, yeah. It'd be really interesting to see what happened in the first couple of turns, but yeah, you can't, you can't unfortunately rewind the live game. Really big, isn't it? No rerolls, because like even things like this that I don't think he would have greeted, but like anything that he possibly could have greeted, he can't greed, and then obviously any critical failures he can't reroll. But um, where's his leader thrower? Um,
Good question. He's on the bench. Did he have an apple, Cruz? I Three, don't remember. Six, nine, ten, eleven. So I guess maybe he's used an apple already. But three, six, nine. Yeah, he's only got, he's got eleven players in the field, so he, he you know he wasn't cast. He's, he's deliberately left him off. Why would you deliberately leave a reroll off the field? Probably because, like, you know, he's got the other players. <laughs> like, he's got the guard. He's got the guard line, or hasn't he, that he wants to protect. And then he's got the ogre. Like, he's, you know, so he's got, like, the ogre and the four blitz, the two blitzers and the four blockers and stuff. So maybe he just thought he couldn't protect him. Like, he's got to put the three. He's got to put these three on the LOS, hasn't he? Or the ogre. Oh, well. He failed the GFI to 2D the to 2D the ball. Yeah. Uh, 1D the ball. 1D. We wrestle there. Yeah. So now maybe, maybe Plotinus. It's still, it's still like a complete mess for the dwarfs. Like honestly, it's. Uh... It is. It is. But they've got three rerolls. So yeah. They can just try and do some good things to sort themselves out. And the Fend as well is going to make everything tricky. Even even something shit like Fend is going to make like things what? a little bit tricky. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Dimra. It's true though. Fend you have offended shit. me. <laughs> well, he's fended this hit, and he's cast. Oh, Fend's such a good skill, guys. It's definitely it's definitely better than Armor Eight. Oh no, wait, it isn't. He rolled an eight. <laughs> Armor is amazing, by the way. 10k for armor is amazing. Yeah, and movement as well. Armor and movement. Movement's 20. Yeah, but it's still worth it. Like it's still it's... great. Yeah, it's great. It's great, but it's not. It's not fucking 10. Like 10k for armor is amazing. And the fact that claw doesn't stack with mighty blow makes it even better as well. I mean, I guess yeah, because it makes less people take claw. Yeah. Yeah. So you go here. Oh, I quite like going here, and then putting yeah. him there, and then getting this guy. But I guess this is for fair enough, right? He gets further forward, but he opens himself up to a three plus one D. GFI as well, isn't it? Two plus yeah. three plus two plus. And plus, you can just punch him, and maybe he's knocking down anyway. Well, this is the thing; he's not in range to score. So Cruz doesn't even need to go for the ball sack this turn. He just needs to get people back. Yeah. He's going to outrun the dwarves, I mean, so... Yeah, interesting that he just went this way. I would have tried a three-sided, like a, a, a closer three-sided cage. Maybe, but, maybe you just do though. the three-plus dodge at the end and just stand on the ball. Oh, I don't know. Stand firm. He's got a blitz it, he's got a wrestle. He needs to get as many players back as possible. Yeah, he's got to try and get players back somehow. Which isn't yeah, that good. easy without a reroll, isn't it? Anything can happen. Oh, it's horrendous without a reroll. Anything can happen. Yeah, so he's probably standing that guard, blitzing the blitzer off and running it back. Oh, he's doing. Oh, yeah, this frees yeah, both yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. Nice. You, need, you need players back. That's oh, he didn't move the blitzer good. first, though. He could have moved. Oh, no, he can't move anyway, because there's a dwarf there behind your head, Jim. There's a dwarf <laughs> behind your head. Behind my head. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah, no, you had to do a bit with him to free both, yeah. Well, if, you, if you're not going for the ball sack. Which you he could. Need to. But, but three, two, three, two, three is... Well, three, two, four is a bit... That's going to be a bit much, isn't it? So. He's got... He's got... Two free pluses that he needs, and maybe a four plus afterwards as well. <clears throat> The ogre not standing up is really sad because if the ogre stands up, he probably dodges that lino. Yeah. And now he probably just takes the punch instead. Uh, I think you had to hit punch anyway. You can't. You can't. I think a four plus dodge compared with two D. I think it's pretty crazy. Yeah, but the thing is, is now that runner is going to be out of range of this guy next turn. Yep. Where is he? Amazing recovery, really, by the dwarves. Isn't it? <laughs> Being able to do like a 
But it, like, good that the multiple rerolls allowed in like the rescue turn. Oh, massive GFI. Oh. Is he gonna double GFI and then, as you say, just dodge to tag with a stand firm as well? Yeah. Then he could have him tagged from both directions. Yeah, but the problem is if he fails the GFI, then he's conceded. Well. <clears throat> I mean, that is the problem. I don't know, but what happened now? Oh, he dodged this guy. Yeah, dodge from tackle failed. Oh, he would have made the GFI. Mm. So it looks like a dwarf 1 0. Yeah, he can go there, and then you can blitz him, and then block him. And this is how you get round Imperial Nobility, is they just run at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Play yeah, maybe it was all the cunning plans from the dwarves. Like, if this was just a standard drive and he had all these guys stood in front of the dwarves, it could have been a nightmare. Like, I don't see how dwarves even score against Nobility without a complete mess like this. <laughs> Hello, dog to the dog. Mr. Waltz. Yeah, oh yeah, go this way so you're away from him. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then, probably and should then have this... been in Chun's column, right? He probably should have been in Chun's column. Nah, this is fine. And then that dwarf goes round, round the back, yeah, and then we yeah. blitz him behind that dwarf, yeah. You don't yeah, want to get nice. bazed by Wrestle, stand firm, though, do you? I think he should have been, I think he should have been one further. Like, he had the movement, like, he could just be... The problem is, he doesn't know what's happening to that Blitzer yet, though, does he? Yeah, even if he pushes him, like, he's got to, he's got to do a 4-4-3 four, four, with, with no rerolls. Nah, he, you've got to be one. You've nah. got to be one to the right. You've got to be. <laughs> Chun's call on. This is Blood Bowl 3. Yeah, Dog to the Dog. It's because I've, I've got the... Uh, I've got the... Uh, the Blood Bowl 2 mod. mod. I've got the mod, and I've got the... Graphics set low, which makes it look better. Chun's column, say... column, not colon. Fucking zebras, column. He might, he might. Uh... Column, <laughs> like golem, might... but column. He might hit this stand for me, you know. He might just one day and then. Oh, he's got. Has he got two day? No, yeah. Yeah. Because if he gets wrestle, then it's fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's four plus. Four plus to get rid yeah, of him. Yeah, only yeah. bad on a one. You've got a reroll as well. Yeah. So he definitely one day it. But still, I would have still won, gone one over at the right. Oh, he's burnt the pow on the trolls. <laughs> Mighty blow though, isn't it? Has him for sure. There you go. Oh my god, Jim, it's all getting. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I just, I just, just one D there. Just one D. There. One D and reroll it. This, this was the play. <coughs> one D this. That's a huge cast on the. Uh, Pretty big, yeah. Bodyguard, yeah. Ooh, you're all over one. Ogre's been garbage. He's he, he's been learning from that Croxagol. Oh, he's one in nine. Oh no. Is this a Dyson? A little bit of a Dyson, but we don't know what happened in the first two turns to give Cruz the chance, right? Yeah. But certainly, uh, there's been some. I mean, things out of rerolls, right? You expect people to fail something if they're out of rerolls. Dead, dead, Not dead. Outrageous. Yeah, perfect eight turn stall. Unbelievable. <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, honestly, like, it was the 1D power on the uh, Bludger, wasn't it? Yeah. Into the perfect scatter. Yes. Into, uh, into run and recovery. Lovely. Anyway, yeah. Uh... He played it pretty well with this guy. He He's did, like yeah. Plotting us. Plotting us. They've got plotting us down as being Russian, haven't they? I've got no idea. Uh, well, I think he shows as Russian. Breaky, I don't know he, who Breaky he... T has put the ones from the thing into his thing, but I don't know what the. You know, then I don't know if they're right or not, right? That's the, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. Thing. Uh, he's got, he has got plotting us down as. Yeah, Russian. So they might know each other from like Ruble or whatever, mightn't they? Ruble? Ruble? Like Russian Blood Bowl League, isn't it? It was a big, was a big yeah. league in Blood Bowl 2. 
Yeah, no, I know Ruble, yeah, because I, yeah. oh, I watch loads of Singodo. Yeah. It's quite mad, the Singodo. I, I wonder if Singodo will ever come back. I doubt it, he's doing pretty well on the old Honky Rail, isn't he? Yeah. He loves Blood Bowl <coughs> 3, third, like. Third Oak of one in a row. That's unbelievable, isn't it? He loves Blood Bowl I mean, 3 like he loves Eat Glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My God! So Breaky T has updated his, but the uh, the official thing is not updated. So there you go. Fantastic stuff from Breaky T. Not fantastic stuff from Cyanide. <laughs> Jeez, man, he's gone absolutely smashed there. Yep. Whoa, big twelve, and then just a stun. Nice. Breaky team I mean, it's champ. like <clears throat> he's going to have eleven. He's going to have three rerolls in the next half. Yeah. And uh, he's got a chance, but it's it's yeah, pretty grim. Yeah, great great drive in the end for Plotinus. Really avoided disaster. He was on the brink of disaster. And managed to escape. Obviously, just end the turn instantly here. Yep. There we go. It'll be the one turn the ogre actually gets up. <laughs> <laughs> right, how's your one turn? How's your uh, Imperial and Ability one turn? Mm, see how this. Good, I imagine. Well, we see how the dwarf set up. He might give this a go. He might, of course. I famously didn't even bother setting up to stop a cruise one turn, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's not that bad at them though. That was just a gaping easy hole. <laughs> it's true. That's true. Dog to the dog. Dog to the dog is the official worst one turner of all time. Oh my god! When he chained him backwards, uh, <laughs> yeah. that is the first time I've ever seen a one turner get chained backwards. We've sidestep as well, wasn't it? Yeah. I think yeah. There was one though, there was one in, in, in Aero BB where he, he hit my guy and my guy had sidestep. So so he di he didn't push his guy forward and then he ended up pushing I sidestepped into his half so I could see I got further than you. Oh my god. <laughs> so that was pretty Oh yeah, after the quick snap, yeah, okay, after the quick snap makes Dog to the Dogs probably worse. <laughs> this is uh it's not quite yeah. right, is it? It's not quite. It's no. not quite the uh, the done thing. There, this is uh, a little bit weak. Yeah. The other would be a one over to the right, as we look at it. Would be the correct yeah. setup. Correct. So, yeah, Chris might get this. You never know. Like, it's a lot of dice, right? With H three. Well, no mate, if he gets a timeout as well. Yeah, or if he gets. <laughs> like... I think you're probably better just playing for the timeout. Honestly, I think. I feel like this kind of one turn is so low odds that you're better yeah. just literally trying for the timeout. So I think Plotinus should have just, you know, done a, like line. some kind of columns or whatever. And, and I don't. Well, he's got eleven, so the back line's not even that bad because it's to get through. It's a four, 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 three, yeah. isn't it? Or, yeah. No, four, four, three. Yeah, but I think he should have just like set up in 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 a, in chevrons in in case of a in case of a timeout. I feel like time. And look, Cruz has just set up for a timeout. That's the only yeah. way he's going to score. So yeah, I, I think he, he should have set up in chevrons for a timeout. I don't I, I don't think he can even foul though because he hasn't even got a bench, which is sadness. Yep. Dwarves can foul. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think they need to. Maximize the blocks. Yep. Oof. Oh, breaks the armor. No Tick joy. Tick skull. skull. Was an Tick skull. God, I hate dwarves. Oh, and he oh, it's a wrestle there. Yeah. No, it's not no, a wrestle. It wasn't a wrestle. It cast oh, himself. Cast himself. Oh, my God. Oh, cast man. himself because of bad play. I mean, it's you know just what this is? Cruise. You know what this is, Jim, didn't you? What? This is another nightmare. Round two draw. Oh my god, it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, why didn't I just win? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nightmare. Why didn't I do safe moves first? 
Is Strider, is Strider played his second game yet? Yeah, Strider won, yeah. So you've got Strider, Seabors, Dion Lord, <laughs> Crucifer. Oh Dion Lord's God. probably going out, to be fair. Oh, is that his second loss? Yeah, yeah that was oh, wow. second loss, Oh, no, no, no. No, I've... No, Dion Lord beat... beat, uh, beat. Ori, didn't he? So, no, no, Dion Lord will be... Yeah, in that... Yeah, yeah, so it'll be 1-1, one, 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 yeah, so it'll be Dion Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I mean, the other like... guy, right? The other guy's got lizards as well, so, like, the other guy's still just horrible anyway. For dwarves. Ugh. So many, I so mean, many nightmare this, draws. This, this isn't over yet, though. Like, he's got ten. Yeah. <clears throat> like, he can do stuff. Yeah. I mean, he might even... Necronorm's got to win the loss, I think, hasn't he? Uh, I don't know what happened in his first game. I missed his first game. I think game. he beat humans, Frickapir. Oh, you were saying because of the one turn, wasn't it? Something happened funny with the one turn? Yeah. I think, with Frick I think. Yeah, Frick pays. Yeah, you were saying that the uh, guy got a vicious ref, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah. <laughs> then he still could have scored it, but just tilted and started fouling. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'd said it was still bad. I mean, I would have given up as well. Completely, yeah. completely reasonable to give up. Solid defense. Ooh, this is brutal. Yeah. Probably going to no, weird in with all the guards. You do not get to play Blood Bowl. Oh man, and he got five, so he can put in four guards and another player on the end. But obviously, you might get everyone knocked out, knocked over. Maybe you don't pile in with the guards, because Cruz has got a lot of guard. So maybe you don't pile in with the guards. Maybe you just move around a little bit. <laughs> just skips it, yeah. Did he skip it? No. no. He's nominated those five. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I don't think you should do this. Because Cruz has got so much guard, he can just 2D everything down. I think this is a mistake. This was my first instinct. Don't get me wrong. This is my first instinct, but I think Cruz can just 2D everything down now. Wow. And it Why gives him a chance to get lucky as well, you know, like getting all these hits. You can just get lucky and, and remove a dwarf or two, and then all of a sudden yeah. you're in a losing spot from a winning spot. I think you should have, should have played this more conservatively. I could just burn three rerolls just trying to. <laughs> he could do, yeah, and, and obviously if he wrestles, it's really bad for him, isn't it? Because he's wrestling. Yeah, his guard if he down. wrestles, he's screwed. Yeah. Uh, so maybe this is good. <clears throat> but it was my instinct, obviously, to just pile in with guard, right? Yeah, but... I don't. <clears throat> I think it's yeah, like you say, it is a recipe to go really badly for you, but it's it could also go really. I I don't think Cruz will be happy about it. Like no. He won't be going, yes! <laughs> I get all these hits. He'll be like, oh my god. Yeah, I hate this game. With all of this Why thing. am I playing this game? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be thinking, I love Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> like I love Eat Glass. <laughs> oh, no, I'm a... He's going to get a lot of hits here. He is, yeah. Can blitz here and then 2D all down the line. If he could chip a dwarf. Yeah, this is this is the problem. Like you know, if he if he gets fucking six knockdowns or whatever, you can you can chip a dwarf. Nice, protects the ball a bit. Nice. Professional play. Yeah. Pref I prefer him one to the right, personally. Problem here is... Oh, no, you don't even have to... Uh, you might as well follow up, because you've got to follow up on the next one. Oh, man. Depressing armor rolls. Abs yeah. I'm depressed. <laughs> Still, he got five knockdowns out of six. Is very lucky. Yeah, nothing. To, not even a stun. <laughs> not even a nugget. Yeah. yeah He's got three dice fun. for the ogre. Here we go. Let's do it. Will he go stupid four times in a row? <laughs> oh my god. He's so crap. The Imperial Nobility Thrower is so crap. Oh my god. Why is he so crap, Games Workshop? <laughs> Why is he so crap? 
Please tell me. <laughs> He's got running past him. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, and look, after all of that, you know, the blocks back. He does get to um, he does get the two D block back. That might just make a Kaz, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely casting one of these blitzers like yeah. instantly. Yeah. It's just so. I mean, it, yeah. I don't know why he didn't do the ogre free dice first. Yeah, I think I would quite like trying that first. You've got to get a yeah. bit lucky one nil down. You're only winning in overtime. And it gives him that lino as well, doesn't it? It's yeah. like. Yeah. I think I would have done the ogre. Yeah. I think I might have even screened with the leader and tried to pick up on the blitzer, but I don't know. I think that's a bit spicy. I am spicy though, Jim. <laughs> I think you could have blocked with the ogre and then screened with this lineman, and yeah, then yeah. and then and then picked up with a blitzer. But like, you, I don't really think you want to feed your. Uh, you don't want to expose the leader. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is he going to blitz this guy? I think this is a decent blitz, isn't it? Might go blitz on him. Oh, wow. he's just geified instantly and failed. And he's not going to re-roll it. To, he has to. He literally, just literally has no, to. No, he, he can't. To. He, he can't. To. It's he overtime. To. Jim, it's to. overtime. I don't care. Why? He has to. Why? Because this How is come? just... He's just fucking his defense if he doesn't... He shouldn't have made the... He shouldn't have made the GFI. He should just, I, I, he should just stood in here. But his defense is like pretty much done if he fails this. His whole team's getting knocked over. He hasn't even made a block yet. I am bamboozled. No, I should never have done the GFI. He should never have. Oh, then the he re-rolled it and then failed it, or did he? No, he didn't. He didn't re-roll it. No, no, no. 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 Okay. No, he should should have never GFI'd there. He should have put the guard in here, and then he could have punched him with an assist in the guard, and then he could have blitzed him with mighty blow, and you know, and then he's got like just just get you get get winning the fight like. That was really weird and shit and wrong. Get winning the fight. Yeah. You okay. heard it here first, guys. Get winning the fight. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to get yourself on top in the fight, right? Like, because you you know you you kind of losing the fight. He's got all of his guards in contact with your two D, yeah. So you have to start winning the fight. In Maybe the he's field, a not just fucking doing a GFI so you can hit this guy. Like, who gives a fuck? You're, you're dwarves. You're not fucking dark elves or anything. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to fucking run around yeah, and steal yeah, the yeah. ball. Just fucking smash him here, and then he can dick around in the backfield all he wants. But then once his front line's destroyed, then you then you can go after the ball, and then you can put a reroll in. But but not not yet. It's tough though because if that works, it's a two plus, and if it works, then he's he's. Base the thrower is. There's things that could have gone really well. Oh there. yeah, there are, but I think he just has to win the fight in the middle first. Oh, that's a beautiful power that one. Beautiful. That's beautiful beautiful power. That's the power he needed. This is like you know like that game Whack a Rat or whatever it is. You know the, the whack -a -mole. game in the arc? yeah Whack a Mole. This is like literally just like whack a dwarf, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the dwarfs are popping up and they're just getting smacked on the head. <laughs> well, we we missed like it's hard to summarise this game because we missed two really crucial turns to know exactly what because it was mental on turn. Oh, yeah. the pickup now gets it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to bring me, yeah, the dwarves outran the knobs, and now the knobs are out fighting the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. But he's not getting the AV breaks, is he? You know, he's, he's getting the knock. He's, not, he's knocking he's down not. every punch, to be fair, but he's not getting the AV breaks. And it's tough. There's some, there's some decisions to be made this turn. I guess he's blitzing the guard on the top. Like right He's already blitzed. Right. Oh, is he? Yeah, um, this guy blitzed. You don't want to let him get that guard up for free, but then I guess you kind of have to. I think you have to... Um, what, 2D the guard, 2D, then 3D with the ogre? 2D the guard first. Oh, just Ooh, 2D? Uh, so then this gives him the assist on this hit, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, oh and he gets the kills! Huge guys. Apo? Yeah, it's badly hurt. That's, that's not a guard, yeah. though, but it's not badly hurt. You've got, you've already yeah. got a twelfth man, so you've no, just don't yeah. apple. Yeah, don't you, apple. you got to save it for a KO guard, right? Yeah, or a, yeah, or a second cars. 
Yeah, you, you can eat. You can eat a. It just seem, feels bad, right? You don't want to eat yeah. badly hurt, but really, he's not changing anything because you've got a, you've got to run on the bench, so it's literally not even changing anything. Literally. Literally. He hasn't even closed this screen off yet. No, and it's Wait, kind of already that? closed off, right? It's kind of closed off by. Well, I mean, existing. what's that blitzer? Do? I'm, I'm wondering what Cruz is doing with that blitzer. I think he wanted to see what not... happened with these blocks and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's just going there. You like, probably should have I'd, put him in there first. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I, I would have done that before I did that block, but then. But then, if that block was a push, he doesn't get he doesn't get this hit. See, so. That's that's the square I was looking at, and the pal. Lovely jubbly. Lovely, and the follow. Oh, so close! Number eight gets the push. There, so he's got to follow this again. Follow. I guess he doesn't follow because oh, I guess he can't. Could have done either. You could, you could have done either there. Just one oh, deep house him. Time. Beautiful, beautiful. All the power, all the power. So many knockdowns. But then you know, again, like he, he asked for this, right? Uh, Plutonus. He, he engaged. Yeah, heavily. he asked to be powered every time he was hit. Yes, Jimmy. He did. He did. He didn't need he, to do he it. Said, he didn't he need to do up. it though, did he? He put himself in a position to get diced. It's exactly what I said. It was my instinct <laughs> as well. I understood it. But he put himself in a position to get dice, and now he's just getting smashed. And he should have rerolled that because by not rerolling that, he gave up all these hits this turn. Look how terrible his turn is now. From me saying he had to yeah. reroll that, I, you know, yeah. I, I hate to be I mean, right well, all the, the time. I mean, well, the problem is, is he, he didn't have to reroll it. He just shouldn't have done the GFI in the first place. Yes, he shouldn't have done the first place. Yeah, but once like, he has done it, he has to reroll. Yeah, base, base, base. Base. This won't it's fail. Tough, I'm on the right. No, no, he base. has to reroll it once he's done it. It was a mistake. Is he gonna, but... is he gonna troll slayer blitz the ogre here? Oh god, he could do. I guess. I think it is actually the play. Looks like that's what he's doing. Uh, it does. <laughs> I don't really I think, think it... it is the play, but. No. No. Glorious. I don't know about no, I won't the give run, in I until I'm in. victorious, and I will oh, defend. Well, I will defend. defend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't don't Beavis. just well, not so, the Many don't just could fail on the initial hit, but like the frenzy, right? If he if he wasn't there. Oh beavers. yeah, yeah. Beavers, many many beavers. A tank, tanks, Doctor Momo Bosco, staying fantastic for sixty eight months. That is a long. A oh, wow, long time. mighty blow here. He's gonna cast the ogre here, isn't he? Maybe seventeen beavers, isn't it? Oh, three. 17 beavers, thank you very I much. I mean, beavers are in trouble, aren't they? They're an endangered species, aren't they? I don't think they're an endangered species, but they're probably like a protected species. Yeah. Apparently, beaver tail is delicious. Mm. Yeah. I don't like eating beavers. <laughs> Do you not? No, I hate it. Uh. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, he can chain. Can he chain it? How many guards has he got there? That's a 1D, isn't it? Oh, and that's a 1D against. That's guard against. That's two guards. Mm. He could chain, like, <clears throat> one of those stand firmers through, but I don't know if he needs to. Yeah, he could do. It might be alright. I don't know. He could just, like, solidify his position on the right. I've never even seen a beaver. <laughs> never even seen one, let alone touch one. <laughs> I don't think I've seen one in the wild. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant when I said I've never seen one. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a wild beaver. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it depends what you mean by wild. <laughs> I hear they get pretty wild. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess you just blocked this free. Is this an Ogre Blitz? Is this an Ogre Blitz on the runner? Oh yeah, my god, maybe. it'd be so good. Maybe. Do you reckon he's going to 3D Ogre Blitz the runner? Ooh. Yeah, I think so. This is why I didn't like Ooh. blitzing the Ogre. I just didn't like it. And has he got a spare runner? He's oh, he's not. He's not. He's not blitzing. He's just, not he's just standing. Oh. I guess it's going to be a Blitzer Blitz on the runner then. Yeah. Should have moved the ball first, Cruz. Yeah, definitely. Should've Lazy moved the ball man. First. What an absolute noob. Has he Almost. ever played Blood Bowl before? Almost as bad as me. Ah, oh, boo, just a free. Runner's dying is like one of my happiest <laughs> moments. God, one of my happiest that. moments in Blood Bowl. <coughs> Honestly, <laughs> like I think I think it goes gut runners, war dancers, witches, 
and then runners. For the, the happiest I get when I kill my opponent's players. <laughs> nice. I love killing dwarf runners, honestly. Mm. And I, I, for some reason, I love killing Mr. Fro, even though I'm improving my opponent's team every time I do it. It's <laughs> yeah, like, me too. <laughs> there's, there's some joy in Mr. It's because he's like AV8 plus, or 9 plus or whatever it is. Oh. Ooh, do you eat this? Eat it. Yeah, the great, eat honestly, it. again, one of the great things about Blood Bowl 3, he can actually think about this, can't he? He doesn't have the bullshit 30-second yeah. timer. He was always going to make this block. And all these dickheads say, oh, you should know before you make the block. No, you shouldn't. You're always going to make that block. And, and only one in 36 times should you have to think about whether you re-roll it or not. Because you're definitely making it. He does re-roll it. He does re-roll it. Yeah, yeah, I'm interesting. Surprised, surprised. I guess he just... I wonder why he thought it was that bad. I guess like, he thought maybe it would let all of the other dwarves get, get back in Well, front. no, I think he, he just wanted more agency on the front, yeah. yeah. If he dubs skulls, then the other guy goes down, like, three or four dwarves get to move over, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, the stand firm icon is something else, isn't it? Who's got it? Has anyone got it in this game? Oh, yeah, these. They've yeah, all got it. They've all got it. Yeah, just like it's so weird, isn't it? What it's a like decision. crutch. Yeah, there was crutch. no reason. There was no reason to zoom in because they changed Juggernaut. It's like, yeah, they didn't need to change both. <laughs> they changed Juggernaut and then changed Stand well, yeah. as well for no reason. <laughs> well, it's quite funny that it's, it's like an ad for Viagra, isn't it? It's like stand firm and it's like yeah. <laughs> crutch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they could sell those as pills to like the Blood Bowl community probably because you know <laughs> we're all getting older <laughs> yeah. yeah like all the, you know the, what's it called you know an American uh, like the NFL and stuff like just there's like a million adverts for Viagra <laughs> yeah <clears throat> Yeah, I really hated that old Blitz, but and I hated him. Well, I hated him GFIing and then not rerolling the GFI. But you know, he he can just play for overtime, right? And who uh, okay, goes? Sort of. Course. No, the other guy, the other tougher guy, can play for overtime and then uh, <clears throat> yeah, fifty-fifty or almost wins, doesn't he? Oh, I oh, do you know what would fill me with joy? <laughs> do you know what? I seeing an Imperial nobility Daka in overtime. I, I, like if if we get to overtime. Cruz gets the kick and then he does an Imperial Nobility Daka, <laughs> then I might just just completely lose my head. Like it would be the best thing ever. It would be it would be a true Christmas present. An Imperial <laughs> Nobility Daka. Like, oh my god. Are you a fan of the uh Daka are you? Uh well yeah, like, I mean as as a strat, yeah, hundred percent. Like I I I've done it a couple of times with Imperial Nobility but normally it's an accidental Imperial Nobility <laughs> Daka where just everything goes wrong and you just end up like in your own half like clutching at 2D like 1D blocks everywhere yeah. doing a million 3 plus do dodges and all that sort of thing I've never like set out from the start to go right I'm going to Daka with Imperial Nobility yeah so. yeah I've, I've, I mean I've done the same with Chaos of all teams where I had no choice but to Daka <laughs> which Oh, mate, I, you know when you did the Blood Bowl Super League, I ended up doing a Dakar with Undead with no mummies against Knorr's Rats. <laughs> and it nearly worked. <laughs> it nearly worked. The Undead Dakar. <laughs> yeah, with no mummies. Yeah, Kaz both my mummies. Like, I think one got hit by a rock and got Kaz no regen, and then he blitzed the other one with a Rat Ogre and killed it. Like, oh and that was God. on turn zero, like turn one. <laughs> and I was like, well, this game is over. Yeah. He's really thinking this turn, isn't he? Maybe he's, uh, maybe something's happened in real life because I don't think it was that complicated a turn. Now you could stand this guy and blitz him and then block the ogre and then... Well, I guess you could hit with a troll slayer back. I mean, I don't know. There's, you could just do, just do something. <laughs> do something. You could... You, uphilling seems a bit mental, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah a little you bit. You could even uphill the ogre and then... And then get a guard, I know the guard's not free anyway, so. So, so stand up your guys first. <laughs> and, uh, so he is here anyway, he stood that guy up on this guy. He just wants to do damage, like, any sort of damage now is just winning, right? Oh, he does, he does come in with the, uh, the Slayer hit on the old man. I think that's such a shit move, but he's gone for it twice. It's semi worked. Does he GFI with this guy to 
go there or there, probably. You could just move my notch here, but I'm moving back and notch here. But yeah, I quite like going going in either of those squares. One D, yeah, probably right because the wrestle. Hmm, don't know. It's not that good, is it? Oh, freeze him! Don't like that. Freeze the guards. Oh, it's oh, because it was the fucking. It was the uh, yeah. Peasant. It was OP Jim. Yeah, that's oh right. Oh my god, it was the peasant. Damn right, OP. Well, not oh, not really OP because you know all you had to do was look and see what player it was, but he didn't look and see what player it was. Okay. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have hit him on purpose if he knew what he was. So. Amazing. Are we switching back to the left here, or are we? Uh, it's too early to push. Yeah, I think we have to. It's too early for anything else. I don't think. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you can't. Can it's do too early. Well. It's too early. I mean, it is too early. But what's your other option? Just lose. No, there's. We're switching back to the centre here. Problem is, is like how many guys is he going to leave behind? Yeah, I'm not sure it's that easy, Tim Roth. It's not easy, but this is the joy of Imperial Nobility. Like nothing's easy. It's like it's constant fear and despair. Like this is this is where I thrive, Jim. This is where I thrive. Just the constant despair of everything potentially going wrong at every moment. It's this like, doesn't sound like the joy, to be honest. Oh man, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Quite, yeah, I'm quite like it's. It was. I was a little bit disappointed not to see like the standard nobility drive in the last one where like Cruz was in front of the ball and laughing at the dwarves trying to get past him. Yeah. Like, honestly, maybe that's the only way he can seize a touchdown is by getting sucked into the ball and going to make a play. I mean, just getting some removals is is how you how they can concede, isn't it? He's a little bit weak on this side. Yeah, I, yeah, but I mean, <clears throat> like in the first half, like with everyone in front of the ball. Yeah. Change the ogre forward. A bit more agency. Uh, now what? Are we it's pretty rough in it. Um, I think he's dodging that guard and putting it above the blitzer, and then taking the two D on the runner, and then. Oh, he's, he's doing this two D. Yeah. Isolate a guard. And then dodge off his wrestler. Yeah, I... Fire. No, dodge off the blocker. There's knobs all over the place, Jim. Yeah. Maybe just one these and then if he gets the push, he gets the 2D, yeah. Uh... Oh, now, now he's got the guard in, so it's, it's yeah, like, nice. yeah, that's great shape. Really nice. That's, that's a good lesson for anyone um, who doesn't quite understand what happened there. But like the the push up and the, the the way he's done this is there's no 2D on either of those two players, despite being outnumbered because of the guarder. He has to 1D the guard before he can get a 2D on the lino. Mm. So that's something like average players won't do. I say average, all right, like newer players, newer players won't do it. Ah, you can say average. Yeah. Yeah, none of those, no, the Imperial Nobility guy has guard, <laughs> which means they don't get punched back. Yeah, up here, up here. Yeah. Little formation. So like the the follow by the lino on the pow is correct, even though like inst instinctively sometimes you don't want to do it. Right? That's the pa oh, Lovely. big KO! Lovely KO! Big KO! It is like it's getting pretty depressing now for uh, Mr. Fur. Mr. Fur. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Fur, isn't it? It's Crucifer. I don't know these Mr. Fur. I don't know. I don't. I don't know which way he goes now. He could like. 
Are you going potato off up this left side? Yeah, he's got. He's probably got to blitz that blitzer or something. Like, sorry, blitz this wrestler or something to like stop him potatoing up that side. Yeah. And then you bring the runner back here to punch these two guys down, and then like blitz this guy maybe. But then your middle's open, so it's pretty tricky. It's pretty tricky for the dwarf to to defend this. He's got to use you know, his time bank nearly. It is tricky. Cruz has used a lot of time bank flip, me. Eh? Been pretty tough though for him, like to be fair. He's... Yeah. And it's there to be used, isn't it? Yeah. Got nine players, nine versus ten. Mr. Fur. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, Mr. Fur. <laughs> This is why it's not fur, it's like F E R, isn't it? It's fur. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Fur. Hmm. Yeah, that KO was pretty big. And it was the mighty blow that KO'd him as well. Glorious mighty blow. Oh, it's pretty good. It's the best. What? Just that in one was. Day. Why? I don't know. There's a runner right there. He's just really obsessed by this fucking ogre, isn't he? He's not re-rolling it, so he's just totally gone for the one. The uh, uh... He's totally settling for all the time. For it, me. I don't know why. He... What was what was coming after that that was so good? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. I mean, this this leans into Elliot's idea of just wait until mm. something like just. And honestly, blaring. I think if you're doing that blitz, you're better off blitzing with the runner, right? Because then uh, I guess he maybe he wants him in in on these. I guess he gets a follow up two D and stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, he gets a, yeah. on a on a push. He gets a follow up two D. I guess that's what he's thinking. But not re-rolling not re and playing for overtime is a bit weak, I think. I think, you know, I think just putting the reels to stop but score and win is better than hope for the 50 Well, Cruz, Cruz has scored now. It's just when. Yeah, it's just going for the 50-50, basically. So. I like if he wins the toss, he's better off. Like, he is better off winning the toss and having three reels on offense, to be fair. That probably is better odds than stopping the score. The problem is oh, like yeah. taking damage on the on the <clears> way, isn't it? So he should have just been if he decided that he was playing for the for the for the like the overtime, he should have played it more. Do you know what Bangy. I mean? Like he should have gone yeah. more for damage and not just trying to put his guard in and stuff. He should have been trying to fuck people up. Calculated. Yeah. For a him. Is, is he going to throw a pass here? Are we going to see the uh, classic Imperial nobility throw a throw a pass here? He's used the leader reroll now. So this is going to be a pass play. No, it isn't. Oh, it is. He's going to throw it to that blitzer. It is. <laughs> it is. I'm telling you. I don't know. I hate this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can just hand it off. Oh, he's handing it off. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's gonna be Catch. a passing play! It's gonna be Catch. a passing play! <laughs> I would have loved it if he used running pass and then tagged the guard that was on the floor. <laughs> like, just to use running pass? Like, he, oh, he's one in nines. Oh. Is that the ogre? Uh, no, it's, no, the, it's the, the lino. It's the oh, and his guard as well. He has to yeah. just eat that. He's got no choice. He has to because Plotinus is eating his. Oh, oh. No, I think he should have eaten that. I think he should have eaten that. I think he's just thinking, I don't want to take the hit. Oh, I think you've got to eat it though, like... I know he's just based Mighty Blow anyway, so that's... Uh... Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Great point from Corleone. Have you noticed that Cruz is again playing on a team with six guards, some of whom have stunned for <laughs> two mobile players and Lyman with seven AV. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Well, gets the pal. He really doesn't like activating his ogre, does he? No, I mean I don't hate like I like I mean Jim. 
His ogre activated three times in a row in the first half and failed bonehead three times. So, I, I mean, I can completely understand where Crucifer is coming from on this one. Yep. Well, that? Oh, no, this is the dwarf turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I yeah, am watching a turn, isn't he? And That was a pretty nice block and follow right to tag the uh, to tag the runner out. But, again, I think Cruz is trying too hard for the score. I think... I think because Plotinus has set his stall out to like you know not use rerolls and play for overtime. I think Cruz should have maybe uh, like seen that and not used his reroll there. They are again on the guard. Mm. Has he got two KOs? He's got three guys cast right, so he's on ten max, and then I think, and then he's three cars, two KOs he's on eight. Yeah, yeah, and then he's gonna face another dwarven LOS as well. Yeah. This is looking rough. Rough. Looking rough for everyone who lost one game so far, I'm telling you that. Yeah, fucking Cruz. <laughs> it's really rough for people who've lost one game. Like, it's better, obviously, losing now than after the next one. Maybe, like, maybe he even scores and gives the dwarves the, the, the three turn. Like the free turn is iffy for dwarves because if he yeah. pushes it and tries to score, he might open himself up to losing. Yep, and the scoring early worked out well for Cruz in the first game. So yeah, it's I mean you don't want to risk no. not scoring. Oh, that was and a like <clears throat> to be fair, like Cruz doesn't want overtime, right? It's he's not got enough players. Like well, Cruz's only KO. chances overtime. You reckon? Well, he's losing one nil to. Well, no, what I'm saying is, is he, well, Cruz could score, like, if he scores next, oh, I guess it's two turns, isn't it, if it, yeah. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna turn him over. He just ain't gonna. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could get a blitz and, like, get really lucky, but realistically, you can't, I mean. He could stall this now, he just blitzes with the, the blitz zone, and then he's got the leader and the blitz are free, but yeah. it's, I mean, it, the problem is with it, is it leaves you a free plus dodge off tackle, yeah, he's yeah, interesting. I like the scoring without rolls and then keeping the re-roll for all the time. And hopefully dwarves don't score in three. Like it's pretty hard for dwarves to score in three even with two runners. Well, we'll see. We shall see. We will! Oh. It's not bad, like the, the, the Slayer build. I don't hate the Slayer. But the problem is it was like costing you a re-roll and getting like you know, some assistant coaches which don't really matter too much, right? You've got three assistant coaches there. So well, you say that, and he's going to get a reroll on this kickoff, isn't he? He did in the first half, it looked like, because he had four, didn't he? But, um, or this drive, maybe? Yeah, this drive he did, this drive he did, didn't he? Because he used the four three roll. Oh. No, he didn't. I just used a reroll, I don't know. He definitely, I definitely <laughs> saw he had four rerolls in one of the halves. I think, no, in the first yeah. half. In the first half, he had a. Yeah, <coughs> what is this? This is four, six, nine, nine against eleven. It's not good, is it? Yeah, I mean, it's not as bad as like it's it's kind of expected, right? It's just it's the imperial nobility way. It's uh, <laughs> just being you, shit. It's, no, you just have to you have to chill out and you just have to expect to be players down. Problem is, is the dwarf team still pretty good, like yeah. You just have to expect to get shit on every single game because your team is shit. Is that what you're saying, Dim? No, you just have to roll. <laughs> you have to roll with the adversity. You gotta roll with the punches. I think impeding the ability of shit. But I do think this is a good build. Six guard, two blodge, lead. Yeah, I mean, I'd be very careful uh, with what you say about Imperial Nobility because there's a chance that you might be playing against them next. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they can still win. I mean, I just lost to Pro Elves, you know, which wow. are a good matchup for Dwarves. Made a mistake, got punished, lost. Got a bit dice with um, the uh, pitch invasion. Have you seen the uh, difficulty rankings on BB3? Apparently, oh, Pro Elves are the most difficult race to play in the game. I mean, they probably are for normal people. You know? <laughs> what do you mean? 
Well, like, you know, the normal people who, like, need a difficulty rating, I think They're that... better than humans. They're, they're no, easier no. to play than humans. I don't... I disagree. I think for the average person who buys Blood Bowl 3 and requires a, a guy to tell him how hard teams are to play, I think he's probably worse off. I think Pro Elves, badly coached Pro Elves, are the worst team in Blood Bowl, I think. Wow. So, yeah. That's what I think, oh, genuinely, because I just, I just love facing pro elves when people oh, don't have a clue. Fun. When they don't that's have a clue, pro elves are just like free win, and plus loads of SPP as well. He's, he loves this ogre, doesn't he? When I say normal people, I mean people, you know, like casual people who aren't obsessed by Blood Bowl or anything. Ogre takes a dig. Not many dwarves mm. getting anywhere forward. <coughs> Looks pretty good for Cruz. Blitz the blitz, uh... Looks like he is. Oh, into an extra hit. No, he's not. He's blitzing no, he's the leader blitzed behind leader. him. The leader that doesn't have a reroll anymore. Yeah. That's weird. He gets a bit more penetration, maybe, is what he's thinking. I don't know. Not what I would have done. I quite like the blitz into the extra hit. <laughs> he just didn't do yeah. it. <laughs> he's yeah, got to be dev. Sorry. Now, go on. I'll just say Proels are like free SPP. Yeah, I just I just think they're like a really if they're badly played, people just base up and take a million hits in their armor seven, right? And they don't really use the Raj Four very well or or they'll try and use it too much. Like I just think I think it's pretty easy to play but Proels really badly for for new players. Yeah, but the problem is is like, are we talking brand new players? Because at the end of the day if you're a brand new player you're gonna play any race horrendously, right? If you yeah. don't know the rules of Blood yeah. Bowl and stuff like that. Brand new, yeah, I think they're the worst. I think they are the worst and I think that's well, that's what difficulty ratings are for, isn't it? It's for new players. It's not for, like, the difficult. you know, the, if Dimmy G doesn't look and go, oh, right, what's the difficulty rating for Pro Elves? You know what I mean? Like, it is for new players. Of that is. runner's not in range, is it? One, two, three, no, he's got four, a GFI nice. currently. Two, he could step it up one square forward. This is where you have to count. Yeah. And uh, does he fail to count? Huge pressure. And then obviously the one in the ball could just go for it four squares. So the one in the ball is just, just in range. The one with the ball. What? The one with the ball is in range. Yeah, he's just in range. So he needs all four GFIs. Got four GFIs, yeah. So now Cruz can get a scoring fair and just try and push him backwards. He can chain, he can chain. Oh no, the guy's on the floor. Ah. Oh. I'd go for a score. I'd be uber greedy here and go for a... Oh, is he going to go for the... Oh, he's chaining recover, the ogre out. Yeah, recover the ogre, yeah. Just get I think... in the way and stop the score. Honestly, I'd be tempted to put my own scoring threat in if I was Cruz. Well, that would be a canoring threat, Dim, wouldn't it? I'd be tempted. That, that guard guy on the right... Mind you, do we need it to shut down that side? Hmm. Mm. 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 Safety. Yeah, okay, he's just aborting. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. Trained him out and then he just sits on his ass anyway. It's fucking ogre. <laughs> well, this is the thing though. Cruz only needs one push on that ball carrier and he, he just cannot score. He has to hand off for it. So. Mm. Oh man. I wonder if he does the double GFI next turn. Where does double GFI leave him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no real way of protecting that runner after it's done both its GFIs. Sideline cage with this guy. You reckon? Yeah, the other runner right ends up one ahead of him. Mm. I guess he goes in by the leader, right? Oh no, he just goes there. Yeah, he's got a punch. Yeah, I think he's going to put the ogre in there, but somehow he's got to put him in. I think like the ogre's probably going to go either in there. Yeah, or this dwarf has got to do there. double GFIs, and I don't see. So yeah, he, it's only he, that side. He goes one. in, he blitzes, gets a pal, and then comes there. He he goes forward, and then he double GFIs sideline cage. It's actually looking, you know, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. 
He's not getting counter scored, so he doesn't need to stand up his players first. Mate, what about the other? Players, what yeah. about the other flank though? Like, because then he's got if he blitzes with the troll slayer, he's got the frenzy to double down on the power. Yeah, then he, then the he can't. Well, I guess maybe he can. You can like double GFI to get ahead. It's really hard though like, to to keep ahead of him if he goes down this way. That's the but it's further away from all the wrestle, right? And if he powers on that, but it means he doesn't get a secondary scoring threat from this guy. Yeah. I guess the, he could double G, the Slayer could blitz, then double GFI himself. He's going to blitz with this guy. Because it pushes good ben? enough, at least. Yeah, but it pushes good enough. So he, I guess that's the big difference, right? He'd have to pal this guy. Yeah. Whereas this way, he just needed the push. But it's it's tough, right? One, two, three, four, five, it's six, gonna be, seven, eight. It's going to be. I, I can. Uh... He hasn't stood up that dwarf on the floor either, that was bad. He should have stood up that guard dwarf already, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You'll do nothing. He's, he, like, the push has been alright though, because it slowed down that guard up by one square as well, which is nice. Or made him rush. This is going to be an eye cage, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Double mm. GFI for the eye cage. So that troll slayer is not in range. Is it? One, two, no. three, four. No, I don't have to to get in range. You could maybe chain him next turn, right? Maybe chain. He's got a double GF out of the ball first, anyway. Like, he can't get scored on. So no, just that's it. He's got a free roll with this. Uh, this is why I was kind of thinking about scoring for it for Cruz, but... Oh, he failed the first one. And now maybe he doesn't re-roll. Well, because he can't lose, yeah. Yeah. We've I played think... it. I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. yeah. It was the second one. I don't know, on the second one, maybe I should... I think maybe you should re-roll the second one. <laughs> right? Oh. I think the second one you probably got... Like, the first one, fair enough. I think there's. I guess. I guess. The, I guess that he'd still need to do two more GFIs, didn't he? But oh man, if only Chris had a scoring for it. Yeah, nice. I'm not surprised though by the way he played the, first, the second half. Yeah, he's like he's been like militant with his rerolls. Mm. Absolutely militant. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, he's and funny. with these both downs. Yeah. This has been. An interesting one. Cruz has definitely had like horrendous dice. I mean, he hasn't had horrendous dice. He's had horrendous dice. He hasn't had horrendous dice. Definitely. He's had horrendous. <laughs> he hasn't I had mean, horrendous dice. He rolled about a million powers and broke armor once. Yeah, but he rolled about a million powers. <laughs> horrendous, Jimmy. <laughs> Imperial ability are OP. <laughs> No stopping him. Every every time he's got hit, he's got removed. Mm. We are going to overtime. Fuck off, <laughs> They're a top tier team when they're when they're tier four for no reason. That's for sure. But imagine if he I just mean... GFI with this troll slayer. I, mean, I know he'd have got blitz, but I think he had a GFI with a troll slayer. Man. Can he? Can he? Uh, chin. This like win him around and blitz him and then like fill all of this with bodies. <laughs> so can... No, Jim. No. <laughs> no, he couldn't. <laughs> of course, he's just gonna set up a uh, blitz on the ogre with Dauntless. Isn't oh, he? he's not gonna. Of course, he is. You've got to blitz either the leader because he's a soft target, or the guard because he's good, or this guy because you can push him into a follow up hit. Maybe this guy for the follow up hit, eh? Is it all armor? So, right? If Cruz gets his KO back, it's 10 against 11, right? 10 yeah. isn't bad in overtime. Yeah. It's not bad. The one reroll is the big scary bit. Yeah. And he might get a proper defense, like if he's on. Yeah, as he goes for the follow up hit. That's the push. Defense. Please don't die. <laughs> Doesn't die. Complete. 
He can't foul because he's got no bench. Yeah. Peo comes Kicks back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, he's winning the toss. Who wins the toss? Man, I really didn't like not re-rolling that. Oh, uh, that's the dwarves? Yeah, the dwarves win the toss. Because if he loses the toss, Cruz has got 10 players. Like, Cruz can definitely just beat him if he doesn't re-roll that. Like, I think he should have really tried for the score. But... Now. I think I think the the new overtime format, although I don't like it, I think it is better for the guy who loses the toss. To, do you know what I mean with the eight yeah. turns? Right, it is yeah. it is slightly better than the, it's less feels bad. Yeah, because I would have just like lost to Galentia, wouldn't I? Like you know. Like, yeah, exactly. Toss, yeah. Two turned and it's all yeah, if you lose the toss to elves or rats, like that's mm -hmm. it. You just lose the game, don't you? Also, yeah. was at least now. Even if you've got like a four turn stall somehow, like you know, if you'd have more players left and got a four turn stall, at least you've got a chance to equalise it and get to uh, get to kicks. That is a deep kick, changing weather. That's sweltering heat. Absolutely not going to. Is that that, <laughs> that is sweltering heat and not really sunny, isn't it? I've got no. It looks like really sunny to me. The, the sweltering heat like has a, like a heat here. The wavy line, line, doesn't it? Yeah, the wavy lines. I guess the KO. Back yeah, down to nine. Back down to nine. Yeah, good. <laughs> Sorry, nothing against Cruz, of course. I just want to see. I just want to see him at knobs destroyed. What? <laughs> Jimmy. Sorry, Dimra. You absolute monster, you <laughs> heathen. <laughs> I am not a fan of Imp Nobs, I know, I know it's terrible. It's like people hating on, uh, what's his name? The, I'm trying to think of the footballer that everyone hated. <laughs> he was like centre mid. I can't remember where he was. He was actually really bad at football as well. I don't know. Robbie Savage. Oh, did people Robbie hate Savage. Robbie Savage? Or well, just because he was terrible at football, wasn't he? He just ran around fouling people and made a professional career about it. <laughs> I think he's my idol, to be honest. <laughs> Robbie Savage is your yeah. idol? Wow. Yeah. That, explain, that explains a lot of things, Jim. <laughs> well, I mean, he made a career about running around fouling people with no talent. That's pretty great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we can, like you know, we can never be Ronaldo, can we? But we, but we could be Robbie Savage. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's oh. got to use his reroll now. Happy he saved he's him now. He's, he's, he's not going to. He's not going to. He's not going to. He's, he's playing no reroll dwarfs. <laughs> this is explains. This explains oh, he how he got into the couch. It. Oh yeah, it does nothing. Uh, no, he stands firm anyway. I'm probably bought downs it right, so so at least he's not getting Wrestles. hit back. But then Cruz yeah, might just it. allow it, and then the ball's down, isn't it? Well, no, oh, no, he's it's got a block. block. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a long, it's been a long stream, Jim. Yeah, like, the, the tense and the nerves is getting to me. Lovely <laughs> sandwich. Yeah. Sneaky dick. <laughs> oh, he fails the pickup, so oh. probably good job he didn't use the reroll then, really, right? Because he wouldn't have, uh, he wouldn't, you know, this would have come next turn. Fucking Emil Heston. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, that's another great example of a talentless uh Yeah. yeah. Hasn't Emil Heskey like I can't remember how many goals like he's got a surprisingly good scoring record, but like not for England. He should have taken the ball down, shouldn't he? Because if he did now he can put a guard and he can pow him and then he can come through here. Like there's a gaping hole. This was really bad not taking the ball wow, down. Wow, he's seen it. He's seen it. Yeah, of course he's seen it. He's fucking And he crazy. can actually go for the pick up as well, yeah. Yeah, this was this was fuck not taking the ball down. I wasn't I wasn't joking. But this is no, no, this is what the dwarves did in the first half. They allowed yeah. Cruz to come through and he's like, mm. Well now I don't have to worry about all this guard and stand firm in front of me because they're all behind me. Oh yeah, clever, clever, clever. He's gonna get the reroll out of him, like, and then like Cruz is gonna dub skull the blitz through and then fail the pick up and then that's it. Like no rerolls. It'll be a carbon copy of the first half. Yeah, these next level, next level strats from Plotinus. Yeah, yeah, deliberately <laughs> rolling bad to bait Cruz into this yeah. desperation play. I fucking hated that. That uh, not both. Yeah. I mean that's not an easy decision though. Like that's not an obvious one. Like, mm. like for me so. that like it wouldn't be obvious for me. Well, mm. it'd probably be a bit more obvious for me because I play 
Like a lot of knobs, but... <laughs> play a lot of knobs. I play a lot of knobs. <laughs> play with your knob a lot. I do play with my knobs, though, yeah. <laughs> I, I made a human team. I made a human team in Blood Bowl 3 today, and people were just raving at me like, I was like what the hell are you doing, dude? I'm, like, I'm allowed to play other races, man. <laughs> Everyone was just saying, we want to see you play with knobs, Timmy. Yeah, they're like, how the hell is, is this? <laughs> oh, so here we go. Knobs. Four plus for the game. Where's all the tackle? Is that that's a runner there as well? Is all the tackle? There's a there's a guarder here, free, and there's a tackler yeah. here, free. Yeah. Uh, tackler here or here, ready to be free. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's going to pick the ball up and then dodge GFI backwards, so he's got oh, the guard on the side. Oh, he's going to dodge. Yeah. Oh, he's going to fail the pick up. Oh my oh. God, he did the hand off. <laughs> he <laughs> handed off. Scatter. It was he a handed scatter. off. It was just, it was it was an unintentional handoff, but it's perfect. How good is oh that? Oh my god! And he's in range. Oh god, that is amazing. And he's in range. He's not. He's not, is he? But the the other guy is. He is. No, he's Are not. He? Four. No, he's one with six, right? So uh, bodyguard. But I mean, there is a guy three. right here. I mean, he's got catch. It's a four plus, and then a three plus dodge, isn't it? So like, because. That's the thing, if he doesn't power the ball... Oh, he hasn't got the follow-up hit! Oh, oh, but he's got to stand firm anyway. Duh. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Bonehead from Jim, he's got... Oh, he hasn't even marked him! Oh, oh my god. god, he hasn't tagged it. And he's completed the screen on the other side. Oh he's my god, don't stand firm. Don't stand firm. Oh, he's going he's to re-roll this, surely. He has to re-roll this. Probably has to, yeah. Into dub skulls, into Imperial Nobility being the best team. <laughs> He's pushed in this guy into a much range. worse spot as well. Oh. Now he takes the both down. Let's get the both down. Oh, oh he catches it! Oh, he's got no! Next to him. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what a what crazy game. On? I can't handle this. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't see an Imperial Nobility Dakar. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't see an Imperial Nobility Dakar. I mean, this is quite yeah, because he just he's got the lead of. I guess he has to one D that he has to one D that blitzer, doesn't he? He doesn't have to do anything because he's got he's only got one reroll. So you, I guess you just hope Cruz fails. No, but if he guy. doesn't if he doesn't one D the leader, then the the thrower just two Ds the guard and he frees the blitzer. One D the leader. Oh, he's got the leader. How does he one D the leader? No, no, he one Ds the blitzer below one the leader. Blitzer, yeah. If he doesn't, if he doesn't, then the leader's just. Or he could hit try it two D with the with the troll slayer, right, and then that would get this guard one. here. That would be pretty good. Like you yeah. can, can maybe two D with the troll slayer if he's lucky, and if he fails, it doesn't matter because these are both still tagged. So the the troll oh, slayer a, block is like, the best. Yeah, it's two plus. Yeah. Yeah, the troll slayer block is the best. Because even it's... if he even if he skulls out, they're, they're all still tagged. Yeah, nice, Jim. Thanks. Gets the power. Of course he gets the power. He's going to break armor as well, isn't he? Of course he is. <laughs> of course he is. And then this gets tackle onto the blitzer as well, so that's really, really nice. Or yeah, but then maybe... Put, he might just put yeah, but the thing is, the like, ball. honestly, then Cruz probably just does the 1D blitz from the floor. But he could, he could put it back to defend, right? He could just put it back to defend. Oh, he should have put... The, yeah, he should have put the guard there. Yeah, put it back to defend. Uh, I mean, it would have been so. It is really tempted to pin this blitzer, but I think now Cruz just does the one D. Maybe he does the dodge here. Maybe he dodges. Oh no, he hits. But maybe he should have done the dodge and then <laughs> uh, stood on that that guarder. I mean, he could dodge. Like these are abs three guys who could just dodge and get a two D. Edge three is like. Six plus dodges, Jim. It's not, boys. It damaged three plus. So, <laughs> so this dodge for the two D is very. Okay, I had I had break tackle guarders that <laughs> snaked constantly, mate. It's like honestly, the the Imperial Nobility three plus dodge is exactly the same as the Dwarf two plus GFI. It's <laughs> just impossible. It's just impossible. I wonder if he should have gone there because then you're putting tackle on the Blitzer, and you're putting guard on this guy. Hmm. Mm. 
Now, knobs are a fine choice for this. Like, knobs are a shit team. But when they're not as shit as Chaos and Nurgle, and Chaos and Nurgle were in Tier 3 and they, they were in Tier 4, like, knobs and Owa were decent choices with the tiering, but I'm still glad I didn't take them, to be honest. <laughs> oh, this is nice, isn't it? He gets the 2D with the leader, and then he gets the 2D, and if he powers the Troll Slayer, he's got that guard free to make this a 2D. Yeah. Ooh. Is that a Lino? Is that? Is that the no, Lino? He hasn't got. He hasn't got. A, he hasn't got a route through. He has if he powers the Troll Slayer. No, he doesn't. We could have just took the leader hit on that dwarf and then powered. Oh yeah, yeah it's it's, oh, really and, really and it's four plus, isn't it? <laughs> so he makes the dodge. Makes does the use dodge. the reroll. Got the two D with wrestle into a follow up one D. Oh God. It's so tense, I can't handle this. He's going to scull out. And then... <laughs> no, he's going to do a random 2D first. <laughs> and double power it as well. Yeah. Oh my god. That kind of improves the failure state, though, right? You know, he's done the guy instead of that guy being active. So. He's still got that 2D up the top as well. Yeah. Is he, just gonna, is he just not taking that hit? Maybe he's not taking that hit. Nah, he'll do it, but at the end. He's just rolled three pals in four dice. And <laughs> <coughs> he gets the ball down. It's not good enough though, is it? It's not. They see me rolling. No re-roll cruise. One re-roll Dory. Dory? Dowie. <laughs> Dory? <laughs> Dory? Dory? Hello, Dory. So this is pretty. No, that was the blitz. He should have two deed with a runner on the bludger and then blitz that guy. And you got. Oh no, he's stand firm. Sorry. Yeah, no block. block. Disregard. Yeah, disregard. <laughs> disregard. Stand disregard. him up, block this guy, and see if you see if you power ball down him first. Irata, Irata. That. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the power. Oh, now he could even just blitz ring. with the ball, right? He could even just blitz with the ball here. No armor break. Get him up. Oh, doesn't frame. Oh, oh. This ogre's a, a fucking problem, isn't he? This. Is, you know, got the whole nah, thing. he's fine. The ogre's absolutely fine. Yeah, he goes for the. Who is that? Is that the push? Now where though? Oh, he's gonna come over this side. Well. The problem yeah. is if he goes over here, yeah, there's a fucking ogre, this is a problem. Well no, because he can move the guard across, but then he's he's opened up the 3 plus dodge to 1D sack. You could go here, and then here. block him, and then block him, and then bring him over. So yeah, up here I think it's good. Yeah, I like saying here. 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 <laughs> here. here, boy -o. This has been a great game, though. It point. has been a great game, yeah. Yeah. really tense this is another game that I would absolutely hate to be playing in like yeah. I'd be so stressed out and yeah I was pretty stressed like, out in mine to be honest yeah you? I bet yeah that's like people like I, I always used to say chalice nerves and that oh, and then God, that people, people take, yeah that's a huge power yeah people do take the piss but it is it is like it, like genuinely mate, nerves. I, would... I don't know what it is I don't know what it is but like it, it... is nerves it's, it's just a bit of nerves like I mean, if you don't get nervous when you're playing games like 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 important games of Blood Bowl, like I like, should you even be playing Blood Bowl in the first place? It's like, mm. like it's mate on tabletop, mate. I can be a, like an absolute nervous wreck. Like, <laughs> I've got the shakes and everything. Like, I don't even need to shake my dice cup because it's just my natural like <laughs> my natural terror. Oh my god! Just... Love two lovely pals there. Look, full yeah. pals with non non tacklers. And now the 4 plus 1 D might be the best play for Cruz. He's already He's discarded crap. it. <laughs> Discard. <laughs> Disregard! <laughs> <laughs> He's eroded that play. <laughs> you could 1... No, oh, it doesn't even help. He might just, he might just chill. He might, he might just blitz with that guard down the bottom and run him back and then step the line. Like, he might just take all the hits here and just have a reset turn. Where he just gets everyone stood up and hits as much shit as possible. Reset. Yeah, he needs a reset. But the problem is he's got he's got no reroll, right? It's, uh... Pressure from all the nerves. Yeah, it's not only nerves. Like I'm not nervous, but it's like you you like you feel it, don't you? Like whoa. Yeah, you definitely stuff. do, you're mate. Like, you're like, big whoa. Games. I, 
and like and like that's the thing like a three plus like in a really important game feels horrendous whereas when you're just playing a random casual game of ladder like you just don't really care do you yeah. so like three plus like was that the blitz that wasn't the blitz no, no it's okay. just a punch and there's a nice pow a lovely pow I mean, this dwarven armor has been better than normal, right? Hasn't it? Yeah, it does seem like that way. Yeah, I think he's given away a touch too many hits on defense and got away with it to take the yeah. chance, but it was okay. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Just punch everything you can. He hasn't. Yeah, he's not been able to punch anything this time. Yeah, exactly, Dwyer. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Maybe not exactly like that, but yeah, it is like this kind of pressure. Yeah. You can punch that blitzer with tackle, you can stand up his runner. You see, like, this is shit, right? Like, this is just shit doing that. Like, I was the same versus Galentio. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that I wasn't shit. But, like, you've got to stand up those dudes that aren't doing anything. <laughs> stand them up first, instantly. And now he does. But, like, we all do that. We fucking all do that. I've never made a mistake in my life. <laughs> Well, I know you've played Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and more Wait, than that, I've you've played, played Imperial Nobility. <laughs> wow, Jim. Jim, honestly, Imperial Nobility are going to win this. They've got they've got the Dwarves exactly where they want them. Right? They, like, Do they? Yeah, yeah. Like, it was deliberate. He lost the overtime toss on purpose <laughs> so he could give the Dwarves the ball. So they, they had to defend the ball to give himself the numbers advantage in the second half. That's... that's that's what we're seeing here, Jim. This is, this is <laughs> genius. Absolute oh, yeah. genius. Of course it is. Yeah, silly me. Let's him push him. Hmm. I guess mm. so. I guess so. Ooh, oh, Fend! Fend! It's OP, Jim. <laughs> it's OP. Yeah. I think he thought he was the guard bodyguard again. Honestly, I think good. he thought he was the bodyguard again. I think he's done the same mistake twice. I mean, maybe he hasn't, but I think he has. Is that the, that's the ball. Oh my god, now he's got like the one Dean to follow up the guard on the ball. I guess he's got the guard there. Mm. Mm. Wait, is that leader? Is that leader free ball? Yeah, it is. If the ogre stands up, the leader's well, free. He might get tethered to a blitz at the goal, isn't there? You might want yeah. to guard the backside though, because there's, there's just a 3 plus 1D on at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, with a follow up hit into 2D. Yeah, so he has to cover the backside. Which means he has to like he has to leave this guy freeable and this guy free. Ooh, I don't oh. think he had to do that. I don't, I don't know why think he had to do that. I guess because of this way, right? One, two, three. Maybe, four, maybe five. no. Maybe he thinks the the guy that just fended is a bodyguard, and he doesn't realise it's a four plus dodge off. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. But, no, I think it was this one. I think. No, nah, yeah, one yeah, one hundred percent, yeah. It's a pretty good actually, that GF. Mm. He's got four turns left. And he's got 13 squares to go out of 16, so he's he's got to really get moving, but he can score on this long beard. He doesn't have to hand it off yet. Like, if he can score on the long beard, he will, won't he? He's not going to make a yeah, I mean, plus if Cruz transfer can get, if, if he doesn't have to. If Cruz can get a double base on it, it's really going to be interesting. But he's, he's, he's quite good that he's got the, uh, he's got the boat, you know, he's got the runner and he's got two blitters next to him, so he does have a nice. heavy route. That's really nice. Really nice. Also, he's yeah, done better than freeing free. the throw. Yeah. He's freed the blitzer much better. He's actually freed a competent player. <laughs> yeah. Happy days. Happy days. I'd love to see Cruz move that other blitzer that's on the floor, though, because uh, yeah. it's giving me anxiety the fact that he's taken. I wonder minutes. if he's going to blitz him to try and get him you know, back through. Yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? This is where like, it's so. It's so tempting to go for the ball, but honestly, going for the ball here is probably just terrible. Like, mm. just run back and chill and you stay know, focused. Maybe you could blitz here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then he, that gets him to come through here, right? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, like that. Whereas if he did the blitz himself, and he'd then, only get to here. So you can, yeah. take, you can do the blitz for him. But no, no, he's just moving. 
Oh, and rolls a one. Oh, and he hadn't moved the other bits as well. Oh. Well, it's not over, but that Ooh, was pretty huge. That was huge. That was huge. devastating. Yeah. Oh, the oh, fen, fen hero. Fen, fen, the fen, fen, fen hero. Fen, fen, fen. <laughs> he's got. He's just gained a player. I mean, that's literally what he's done. He's fen. gained a player. <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. Fend! <laughs> no, the okay. fend doesn't, it doesn't happen this time. No. It stops in the square of Ford movement, but not really anything. Yeah, they just sideline cage. That blitz I had to come back. I, I wanted to know what the plan was. Oh, he's, so he's already moved. I was wondering if he's going to three corner cage and, uh, and then go no, for the way. He couldn't do this if that blitzer had moved across first, either. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a right shame that it's... I guess he was going to blitz with him, wasn't he? But... Yeah, he was, yeah. He was probably going to come all the way round yeah. and blitz off where the guard is and then tag the ball with the guards. But like, yeah. if he powers, I don't know, it's hard to say. But... Yeah. Sad. but putting the fend on him for a 4 plus dodge and it's like a one that you don't want to. Like, you force the blitz on the fend and then you've got the blitzers to react with. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sounds I like. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty likely to go overtime, right? If you've got two people who are close in skill level and close in TV, and overtime is an option. Like, plus humans are just probably more likely to like go for go for over, like play for overtime, right? Because you're not losing and stuff. So it's probably instinctively. Yeah, scoring so early is so bad in Blood Bowl, isn't it? It's just yeah. so bad. Unless you like has seven players. Yeah. Oh wow! Big boy dodge. Look at that, what a move, great move, honestly, like great move, because this was really easy for Chris to get a lot of players back this turn with a, with a few dice rolls. Two, three, four, five, really six, nice. seven, eight. He can, nice. he can three plus, two plus, two plus, the guard stand firm on the ball here. Yeah, can. That should be his last move of the half, or certainly yeah. close to it. Oh, Not half, last move of the half, last move of the turn. So no knockdown and his other guy gets in the way. Annoying. That's really annoying, yeah. But it was a great, great square for the dwarves. Really lucky because like it was a four two two that he wasn't gonna re roll. <laughs> that was really fucking lucky. But it was a great square. And he wasn't doing anything where he was, so really nice to, to see it and do it. If he makes that 3-2-2, that's his only chance, I think. Mm, it's tough. He might have to, uh, yeah, he might have to do this dodge, yeah, yeah. I like that, I like that from Cruz, I think he had to do it. Yeah, and then the leader tags the bottom one, that guy tags the middle one, and then you do the 3-2-2. Two, two. I guess, do you dodge the bits of first, is the question. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, it's pretty fucked, isn't it? It's horrible, mate. It's horrible. I think what you could do is you could like double tag one of the top guys rather than like you know tagging all three of these. You could double tag, yeah, yeah, double tag him, and then you've got this dodge off to tag the bottom guy, and obviously this one to go and tag the ball. Doesn't dodge him. Well, I guess he could he could do it with this guy as well, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. Oh, oh, he's failed. He's died. That three plus. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, yes. That Asian guy. If there wasn't overtime, then there would be less overtime. <laughs> nice spot as well isn't he? he even gets to put like that's such a good square there as well Four. Four. This, could, this could be over don't say it's over Jim don't say it's over but it 
it's looking. I mean, move the ball first, I guess. But it's looking ball pretty power. strong. Yeah, he didn't move the ball. Like, if he dubs or quad skulls, I guess. Yeah. He's out of range, isn't he? Yeah, so I think just move the ball first. Because you're not going to, like, you're not going to, like, uh, blitz hand off or anything, right? So. It maybe he is. Maybe he is. Maybe he's going to hand off to the blitzer. Maybe he no, is going to blitz why? hand off. Well, he is blitzed, so maybe he is going to. Maybe he's going to hand off to him. No. Why would you? He just wants to put. The, he just wants to put the guard in on that top end, doesn't he? I don't know, Jeff. <clears throat> but then now this is the advantage of having a crappy thrower is that he's g three plus instead of edgy four plus. So now he's thinking, I need to close the bottom, whereas he was probably planning on closing the top before. Yeah, he's got. He's got to close the bottom. Yeah, yes, yeah. I mean, that's it, and then just potato, right? So yeah, it's cool. He's closing the top, the top. Yeah. and he's leaving that's the free up. He's leaving the free yeah, up out. That's, oh, that's very risky. It's because he can obviously not believe that anyone would take an imperial nobility thrower, right? So he he must just assume that it's a lino. <gasps> oh and my he god! A oh, that's quite nice. I mean. I it don't is, think but you I mean, can roll any of those dice. Yeah. <laughs> there are one, two, three, four, five, six, G5, G5. G5. So the three, two, two from one D. Oh, and he uh, did a dodge there. Uh, he didn't even try to block. Like I think you block this guy first, right? Because a push doesn't really change anything. But if you pal him, it's great. So I think you, I think you block with your runner there. Like, obviously a 1 in 9 sucks, because then it gives this guy the dodge out, but then it's just the same as this, really. Oh, what, you mean, like, he just didn't take the block, he just did the dodge? Oh, yeah, yeah, he did the dodge over here, he didn't, didn't block with the runner. Well, there you go, and that's, that is it looking very strong now, isn't it? First thing you can do is move the ball. And then, uh, punchy punchy. These guys can't reach at all, there's only this guy who's getting... Oh, don't Nearly disregard 3D. the Imperial Nobility one turn, it's like one of the strongest one turns in the game. <laughs> no, it isn't! <laughs> <laughs> Nobs versus oh, Dwarves is just as boring as Dwarves versus Dwarves. Wow, I'm, I I need to ban that guy. Oh. <laughs> this is total Blood Bowl, it's like Jim's favourite race versus Dim's favourite race. It's yeah, just, yeah. This is like amazing. Doesn't get better than this, guys. I do feel like uh, Cruz got suckered in. But I mean, when I say suckered in, he wasn't suckered in, was he? It was just a glaring opportunity. If he, ma yeah. if he makes that pick up with the Blitzer, like, he, might, he may well have won this. Yep. Nob's going to your head. <laughs> Nob's versus Necro. I don't know, I play against Hancock a lot and he plays a lot of Necro and I can't say it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a mate who's worse at Blood Bowl. I need a mate who's pretty bad at Blood Bowl, that'd be great. That was pretty nice, wasn't it, the GFIs? Yeah. I mean, this is, yeah. This Probably is wasn't that nice though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. G it actually wasn't that nice. It was pretty, <laughs> some pretty easy dodge rolls if he, uh, until he made if that If he block. failed it, yeah. Mm. Could have done a lot better than what he did. Never mind. If if you're in this one and one bracket, man, it fucking sucks is what it do, is being. Crucifer, DM, DM Lord, uh, Strider. Just does it anyway. He just does it anyway. Oh. oh, so close, so close. C bro. Maybe maybe he forgets to score. Yeah, Necronom. Ori's in there. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, a, it's a minefield. The one on one is it, a minefield. It's horrendous. So, is this everyone play After this, after Run Bad and Page, is that everyone played this second round? Yes. So, in the third round, we'll only. In the third round, half of the people will be one and one. And then a quarter will be two and all, so they'll get a buy essentially, and a yeah. quarter will be out. And then so the half, like you know, half of the field is still in for the one and one. So there's a lot of people in the one and one situation. So, so like when while there are some when, monsters there, you know, you have got good odds to avoid them. 
When so there's twenty eight. There's twenty eight who are in this one on one bracket. Yeah. yeah, and then they'll all play in the next three. Well, in the next two days. Can he possibly years. protect himself from the knob one time? <laughs> I know, right? I know. I mean, it's again not honestly, even attempting it. He's just one of up. one of the strongest one turns in the game. Honestly. He is indeed just setting up for the uh, riot. It's not a riot. It's uh, a blitz. And that is all she wrote. The knob one turn uh, does not happen. Obvious, I said. Maybe one Man. day. <clears throat> I got to see the armor breaks on this one. Oh, he's gonna surf the ogre. He, he didn't finally even cancel the assist. What a scumbag! Oh my god! What a what a no. I thought even... he picked the power. Then it looked like he picked the power. He should have done, shouldn't he? Didn't he? <laughs> has he given him a? Has he given him a chain? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. Miserations, Cruz. Yeah, yeah. He's... Well, he's he's still in it. He's still in it. The knob's yeah. still in it. He can still win it. Commiserations to anyone facing Chris in the next round, but uh, congrats to Plotinus, another dwarf, another another noble dwarf into the two and all safe zone. And uh, you know, at least I mean, did any are... did any dwarfs fail to get into the two and oh, Jim? Only one did, Dim. Yeah. Only yeah. only one failed to get into the two yeah. and oh, Wow. I think so. I think so. I, I don't know. I know Hero's through, yeah. and I know Plotinus is through. I don't know about he must have been else. really bad at Blood Bowl, Jim. He he might have made a horrendous mistake or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, thank you. Uh, well, sorry. Congratulations, Plotners. Commiserations, Chris. Thank you, Dimmy. Been great having you in the booth, even though you're horrible to me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> and, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.